So now that we kind of just outlined some of the user stories in here, uh, I'm going to try and move them into Scrumwise, into our Scrum board, our Scrum process tool. That's kind of what it is. And we use Scrumwise, of course. So um, the first thing we want to do is add some kind of feature where we can figure out which price category the customer wants. Um, so we need to have a feature of some kind. As a user, I want to be able to quickly filter cars for a specific price category. That could be the use story. If you find a better one, go for it. But the idea is pretty much, I'll write it in the description. The idea is pretty much that I can go in and I can, from a price category, get a list of very specific cars. So I need some kind of filtering mechanism here. So what I'm going to paste in here is pretty much just what Kai said. Typically, the first thing to do when a customer appears is to figure out which price category the customer wants. Right, so it's just what Kai said. So hopefully that's what he wants in his feature. Uh, I won't assign it to anybody. It's the type of feature and I'll add it. Now I have my first backlog item. So I'll go back to the story and just figure out if there's something else I want in here. Thereafter, we will check if there are available cars. So I'll take this one as the next feature. As a user again, remember in my case, the user is the user of my program. So again, I'll give it a small description here in the bottom. As a user, I want to check what cars are available in the category. We will check if there are some available cars in the required period of time. So there are at least a few things here I can see. There's something with, I need to figure out a period of time and um, I need to somehow filter in the category as well. So it looks like I have a few things there I need to add as features. Um, let us, let's add this item as well. Back to the text. What else do I want to take out here. Well, fill out a rental agreement, um, another feature. So I'll just add that as the final one and then we'll move on. Now the rental agreement, um, as you said, I, want, I can fill out a rental agreement. Um, fill out the rental agreement. We're going to need some properties here and I should start looking through the document and I'll just try and do that just to see if I can find some areas um, that talks about the rental agreement, what should be in there. Because it seems like a very important document in this whole process. So let's have a look at the text if we can find something about what should be inside a rental agreement. So it says right here, period of rental and optional insurance. So that's already two properties. And what else do we have in here? Well, we probably also need what car is rented. Probably also need to know who rented it. And then you could keep going here. What else should be in there? And you can find all of this information hopefully in the document. And what's not there, you can ask Kai. So it is important to notice that this is the initial backlog. So as a team, as a developer team, you guys should be able to find the remaining features in the huge document that Kai added and then from that decide on what you feel is the right features to attack in the first sprint. This is of course a process and it's something that's hard to learn. Also with the estimation that we'll try and do later, that's also hard to learn. But you have to try and do it again and again and at some point you'll just get better and better and in the end you'll be really good at estimating these uh, stories that you see right here. So in the next video we're going to try and open those stories and break them into tasks and maybe questions will arise, maybe you'll add more properties than we already did, maybe you'll have questions for Kai already before we even start the sprint. Let's see what happens when we continue and start to break down the stories.